Inside, the cabin is roomy and quite comfy. Rear seat legroom would be a bit tight for taller folks, but that's about the only nit to pick. The cars we drove in and around Charleston, South Carolina at the GT Southeast Regional Media debut were well constructed inside and out. The most striking interior change is the new infotainment system. Anchoring the new system is a larger 8-in touch screen, now occupying its own standalone space in the center of the dashboard. Standard on every Elantra GT are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Other standard goodies inside the GT include full power accessories, a tilt telescopic steering wheel with redundant audio controls, an audio system with satellite radio capability, Bluetooth connectivity, a rear view camera, 7 airbags, and remote keyless entry. Hill start assist is also standard. Ponying up the extra money for the GT Sport adds features like lane keep assist, LED headlights, and tail lights, automatic dual climate control, a leather wrapped steering wheel and shift knob, leather seating and heated front seats. Optional on both the entry level and GT Sport is a panoramic sunroof. If we have a second real gripe with Elantra GT, it's that only the GT Sport offers a suite of safety slash driver assist technologies and all but one of those are folded into the optional Sport Tech package. Lane Keep Assist is standard on the GT Sport. Bundled in with the Sport Tech package are advanced smart cruise control, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, high beam assist, and driver attention assist.